Hello and welcome to part 42 of my Amazing Cultivation Simulator Shandao Run on Tribulation 9 difficulty with Heavenly Chaos enabled. In the previous episode, I was able to do my 3 days of Divine Realm Breakthrough and I got my Shandao Disciple to have 48 days luckily because they had I think around 650 followers, 50 divinity and then I also improved this room as they were doing the breakthrough but I'm pretty sure that the room was already at a pretty good point to the point where they were going to get 48 states anyways and I was also able to build some divine residencies so that my Shandao can hold 20,000 population and then I sent my Shandao out to solve the Mount South disaster they provided some disaster relief and they gained followers so now my Shandao disciple has 5,788 followers and this is pretty much the perfect setting for me to do my early Shandao run so now I just need my Shandao to get this 50 million cultivation experience and to get to this uh, bottleneck right here and that's because at this bottleneck they unlocked another judge guard which is the reason why I had to restart earlier in this series was because I didn't have that nether judge unlocked so I couldn't create guards with the nether judge but this time I should be able to because in order to get to this bottleneck I need to cultivate for 16 days and then for the rest of these it's really quickly to get to the bottleneck but they are a 2 day breakthrough so it's probably like a total of 25 days and we're on day 41 and with the map that I did I figured that if we have gotten to we have started cultivating on day 55 then we'll be good so the next thing that I'll need to do is get some core followers so I'll need to send my Chanel out to recruit some of these cis core followers so that I can increase my belief gains and then I'll be able to get some experience off map so yeah let's just get into this so another reason why so the main reason why I wanted to get 5,000 followers from my Chanel disciple is so that I can get I can use this um, Hall of Devotion building and build it so this Hall of, Devoted, Hall of Devotion building requires my Chanel to have 5,000 divine residents and this is what allows me to recruit core followers so this is the main key component in getting your channel to be able to generate a lot of beliefs because the core followers generate belief and as you can see right here I only have 40,000 belief right now and I need 100,000 luckily my Mount Soft has some belief we have 47,000 here so that means I just need to get 13,000 from City of Abundance so I'm going to send my Shindal disciple to City of Abundance I think like Probably two adventures will be enough, so I'll just do five, just because my Shandao did get to the next uh, cultivation stage, and when the Shandao gets to the next cultivation stage, they get more belief and followers on trips to the city. So that's pretty much set in stone, and now I also have my metal cultivator who's about to reach the bottleneck, and this is an adventure breakthrough. So for the adventure breakthroughs, they are the time that they take are based on your disciples' intelligence and charisma and social at the time at which they reach the breakthrough so it's kind of important that you make sure that they have the heaven sent talisman on and they also have like their social increase and all that good stuff the sad thing is that i do not have any um ways to increase my social because i don't have i believe it's either the emotion severing law or yeah i believe it's emotion severing law or no it probably is the most severing law the one that gives the man that gives the disciple 20 social level so yeah sadly I don't have that manual and I guess I could try to farm it because that would drastically increase or that would drastically reduce my medical debaters time for the adventure breakthrough but I'm not even sure that they would be able to get through that breakthrough in a good time overall so I think that the next thing I want to do is promote my heaven sin law bear so that they can be the next disciple that could pr possibly pursue demigod and hopefully be able to catch up by day 80 but if they can't then it's okay but I do want to I'm, I'm kind of thinking of doing some derivative calculations right now all right so for my metal cultivation cultivator I'll have them learn the heaven lent talisman and then we obviously need to get some soul gems for it okay we have six angry soul gems already so this is pretty much exactly what we need so let's do some refinements on these sacred talismans I don't know how many times we can refine it with this guy 
They're 117, so they can do four refinements without getting tired. So let's just do these refinements. And then I'll start a spiritual breath chant so that they can get some more chi. I'm thinking that if I can do derivative calculation and then actually get something like emotion severing law, then maybe I can just transcribe it really quick and I'll only be delayed by a day, which will save me multiple days. So I'm going to learn derivative calculation and then also get lifespan on this guy. So let's see, 300 lifespan, that should be more than enough, honestly. Wow, there are no other manuals that I have the increased lifespan. It's a good thing that I also have the life spring on this guy. Or on the save. At least I'm pretty sure I did, yeah, life spring. And then I also have the life pill. So these will also give a good amount of lifespan. Uh, this is only 99. And this gives 180. A fair amount. Maybe not a good amount. This is 80% resistance, they both do. So let's see. I don't know why I can't do anything with that. Okay. Let's go to life again. Feed that to fire code reader one. So now they have their order calculation. They got 500 lifespan. It's nothing crazy. But then they can also help out with refining this right here. And then after they're done refining, Metal Cultivator can also do their refinement. Um, please don't cultivate anymore. Alright, so now that this is tier 12, I can now create the tier 12 Heaven Lent Talisman, which will increase attainment. And that's pretty much everything that I'll need for derivative calculations. I already have disciples with pretty good luck and intelligence, so. They should be able to get derivative calculations with a 100% chance, especially if I start using this turtle. Alright, so now that I've created the talisman and I'm ready to possibly do derivative calculation, let's uh, check out the sec trade since it did get to day 41. Or at least I think I'm on day 42 now. So the sec trades did refresh, so we're going to check out all these secs. We have blood talismans. I kind of just like buying these, but I think I already have enough. Let's see. How many blood talismans do we have? We have 21. Yeah, I think we could use more, especially if we're using this for our outer disciples. And then let's see. Of course, I'm going to try to trade the spirit wood. To to 16 I'm about to be out of spirit wood though honestly chief fasting pill spirit soul gem could be useful I kind of want to get some more cages too but raising animals can get like so daunting rabbit demon's foot I'll buy that as well I really need like a merchant or a spring festival minion. This is a mod item so I won't get that. I do like it sometimes but I'm just not trying to use that right now. Alright so I did buy some items from the seg and now I'm just curious about these qualities. Alright now it's time to have these guys go into these Sex so that I can invite these guys from my hotel tie. So I have fire cultivator two, I haven't fall abode. So let's invite these guys. And I already invited guys from Golden Peak last episode, so those guys should be coming in pretty soon as well. So I mean things are moving by smoothly. Alright. I don't really want to invite anyone that's not Primordial Spirit. So I'm just going to stick to these guys. Sima May. Won't you come and visit my sect again, please? I'm sorry, I meant to invite you. 
I wish I could just do a mass invite. Just one button to invite all the primordial spirits. G way. I'm so happy I didn't have to roast these disciples either. I just, you know, toughed it out. I barely got there though because my grand chariot cultivator got the primordial spirit day 35 out of day 36. So I was just like one day on time. Okay, move. Moray. Sikong G. Last time I did Heaven Fall Mold, these guys, they left with. They gave me a lot of favor when they left. They gave me like 100 favor or 170, which is really like half of that because I'm on Tribulation 9. Lee Zen. So yeah, this is hardcore Hotel Tai. Let's see, they have pretty good temperature tolerance. I guess I could invite them. Yeah, they have good temperature tolerance and I have no problem with inviting them. Almost missed the Primordial motor spirit. The Golden Core Disciples should definitely be okay. Let's see. Oh, their ideal temperature is 32 degrees, so they may have a negative moolet. Hmm. Oh, we have some primordial spirits down here, too. And I need to get a thousand reputation with these sects, so that's why I have to do, like, all of this. Things are going to get really overwhelming. Like, my whole screen probably will have just disciple names. All right, so I'm done with inviting guys to from Evan Fall of to my sect. Now I'm time to go to the other sect. I forgot which sect that was at. Oh, I think it's Sunshade Bolt. Yep. Then I'm also thinking of Seven Slaughtering Sword just because I have pretty good rep with them, or I have pretty good connection. And once I open up like all the agencies that I do want to open up, I may lose rep with them. So I just want to keep that above zero. All right, my turtle riding a turtle. Let's get these primary spirits. I kind of also want to check to make sure that these guys don't have the chi over um, flow, just because it's really annoying to panacea those guys. They slow down my disciple. And I just want the panda see a process to be very smooth. So I'm hoping that the game will like tell me if they have it. Damage organs, okay, that's not a problem. Chi Quan. Why don't you come and visit my sect? Chang Ji Li. I wonder if I could do it anyways. Yeah, nice. I don't even need one click favor to do this. Okay, holy. It just saves me a click, honestly. Niu Ying Rong. Okay, this one has the Black Meridian, so these are just types that I want to skip for sure. Just because that just takes extra time to heal compared to like just healing instantly with Panacea. Okay. That was a Golden Core Disciple, so let me just scroll down. And just try to catch the golden core and higher. I feel like I already invited like 40 guys. Okay, you just have bone pain. That shouldn't be an issue. 
All right, I've unlocked every. I've invited everyone from Sunshade and Bull. Sunshade and Bull also has an artifact that I may want to use for my Chandel Disciple, so I may want to still. I'm thinking I'm 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 pretty much there. I'm like, I'm lurking. I'm ready to steal this artifact. Um, let's see. So this artifact right here, Devil Sphere, has 253 artifact power, which is super good, especially for my Chandel Disciple because. For the Shandow Disciple, this is kind of like a really bad artifact because of the Chi capacity. However, Shandow Disciples don't really care about Chi capacity. But the one thing about this artifact is it also has like really, really bad turn speed. So, I may also still not want to use that. Maybe something like, hmm. I believe there's another one that's a better candidate. Yeah, I think I would probably rather have the Nimbus artifact if anything. But that one is a little bit harder to get. But I mean, these might just be good to have in general. Just because I do have a lot of things going on in my set. And I don't... None of my disciples have really good artifacts, honestly. So let me kind of wait a little bit. I probably shouldn't be trying to steal it right now, though. Because I don't know if the, the time delay... Which is based on whether, like, when the disciples that you invite to your sex. I don't know if that's determined on, like, when you leave. So let me actually leave this, and then I'll do that on my own time. I don't want to skew when these guys come back. And I definitely don't need to get that artifact right now. Alright, so Fire Cultivator 1 isn't doing much, but this is my sex defender, so... It would probably be smart for me to keep them there. And plus, I was planning to do derivative calculation on them, so let's do that. Oh, Metal Cultivator 1 is drawing the Talisman. Clip this on Fire Cultivator 1. Drop the Story Talisman. Then I have the Sacred Talisman right here. I want a Heaven Sent Talisman and. I also want to have a Departing Shadow Talisman for my future habit. Let's do Help Others. Nice, we got 9,000 Belief just from that. So yeah, they're at 50,000 Belief and how much does Mount Self have? They have 54,000 Belief, so the Shadow Disciple is good to go back go to Mount South because they just need 100,000 belief. Need a tool for chopping. There's nothing but chopping tools around here. Alright, so this guy has the Heavenlet Talisman, I believe, or maybe not. Let's equip this. The goal would be to get Emotion Severing Law like really soon. So we have Departing Shadow, Force here. Alright, I'm going to do Heavenland Talisman and then Heaven Sent so that I can increase their luck and intelligence. And now they have 320 attainment and uh, 6 and then 6. So that's 8 multiplied by 12, which should be more than enough. And then I did get the rabbit demon's foot, so let's equip that as well. And then let's see, Fire Cultivator 2 is back, so let me actually send them to here just because I haven't done this mission and it popped up a while ago. But yeah, I have Fire Cultivator 1 and then I have my primary was Simple's Law Cultivator and I have my Metal Cultivator who are ready to like kind of see out see which uh derivative calculation mandates I get. So firstly let me set my game up for derivative calculation. So for derivative calculation I want to ignore everything besides mandate and traces of ancient book. Um I don't need the pop up for anything besides for mandates 
So I think I want to turn on a pop up, but then just keep it on for mandates. And then I think that that is pretty much everything that I needed to do. So let's just start this derivative calculation right here. I'll just do five just to keep it safe because I do want to double check that it's being done at a good rate. Okay, so it's successful. But I definitely didn't want that population right there that told me whether or not it was successful or not. So let's do a neglect on that and then a neglect on that. Let's see what we get. Okay, I do want the notification though, which is the thing on the side. So I think I want to do confirm, I mean, concern on that. Okay, we got great desert. Okay, and now we have the mandates. All right, so everything is looking good. So I'm going to save and return so I can create a save scum. Because honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to get a motion separate law like easily on a first try. So I might just want to save some that just in case. So day 42, start mandates. All right, we're loading the game up. Got the Angry Soul Gem. Let's trigger some more derivative calculations. We can do 50, so let's just do 25. Excellent. Oh, so we have two locations already. And I'm not looking to get a lot. I really just want to get that emotion separating law. That's the main thing, and honestly, the only thing that I need. You know, 100 insects. Okay, so the disaster failed, and we had 22,000 people fled, and then 2,800 were lost. And so I lost about 30,000 people. So let's see, where's my Mount South at? Mount South currently has 41,000 people, which is perfect because I can now promote this to a tier 2 agency when I get the influence. So. Just gonna do charity and we're still good even though we felt a disaster. Let's see, what's up with this wood? Alright, looks like this timber is being made, but like pretty slowly. This guy needs to adventure. Okay, Mount Lucian. We're getting some closer locations, which is nice. And then my storage area seems to be almost full. It just expanded out this way, I guess. Clear out this. All right, this guy's done their derivative calculation. I sent someone to Great Desert already, and I believe I sent someone to Excellent. Yeah, now 100 insects is pretty far. Let's see, can I swap all your talismans? Then departing shadow, and then departing shadow. It's still like almost a day. Okay, let's scroll down and see. Oh man, hundred insects has two. Okay, I'll just do here. Then Chanel cultivator one is back, so I'll send him to Mount South. Him or her. Oh, they're still doing the derivative calculation? I didn't even notice that it wasn't done. Let's do cancel all miracle just because. Disturbances of Otherworld. So I've unlocked the Otherworld Rift. I just need to send like two disciples there so I can get the extra talismans from there. But our main thing is trying to figure out where this most separate law is right now. Who's this guy? Just a random cheese shaper? I don't really care for this guy. I definitely don't. Oh wow, a motion severing law right there. That is beautiful. All right, so motion severing law is actually really good with cats, so I don't need to take this by force. I could just send one of my cats there, and I'm very confident about that. That actually worked out perfect. Come on, I know I spelled this right. All right, Wiki. There we go, it's right there. They hate me. 
so yeah most of seven law just requires high perception uh five perception nine charisma and five int and my cast they all have high perception and high intelligence so it's really just about having nine charisma honestly so i just do leave for now and emotion severing law is also a fire cultivation law and my fire cultivators they do i believe they have the plus fire law match so even if they're missing some they still have a good chance to have 100 percent law match with it so let's see this guy is at 2.4 intelligence but oh this guy has everything yeah so fire cultivator one will be able to get it they just need to go to great desert so let's go to world and then take fire cultivator one back well just in case the other one is in motion server law i'll do that as well I'll keep them on their adventure. It's not too much of a rush, you know. And we have some more spirit wood. This is nice. Very, very nice. And I still do want to make a Heaven Stone Law Cultivator just because I just love having a Heaven Stone Law Cultivator anyway, so why not? So I'm going to move forward and awaken intelligence on this guy. I'm just thinking, is there anything that I may be overlooking? Because I only have a 11 disciple limit. I'm actually about to lose one of my abbots, so I should have room. And then I'll have to swap out somebody for this guy. So yeah, I should be good to awaken them. I probably won't unlock Heavenstone Law anytime soon, though. That's the main thing. All right, Fire Code Reader 2 is back. I'm just going to send them to one of these mandates. Search for locations. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That is the opposite of what I wanted to do. Oh, 7 Slaughtering Sword. So my Metal Code Vision should be definitely aligned with 7 Slaughtering Sword because those are like basically the same stats. So let's just do a step teaching. So I'll send my metal guide to Esalen and my fire cultivator to Great Desert. So here you go, get SSS for us. Wow, I'm about to get a lot. J Purity, I'm pretty sure these guys are good for that. Okay. Where was fire cultivator one at? Hmm. Oh, Mount Lucian. So maybe I can see what's up with Jade Purity. I just have to remember that as that Mount Lucian. Heaven's in Law Bear. I'm really looking for Heaven's in Law, honestly. Alright, Fire Cultivator 1 is back, so now I can send them to Great Desert. So that they can get Emotion Severing Law. And then let me see what Jade Purity looks like. Okay, so this one requires perception and then luck and intelligence. That's perfect for my Primordial Simples Law Code of Error, actually. That's exactly their stats for it. Perception and then luck and intelligence. Wow, what kind of luck is this? I'm about to get all of these laws by accepting teaching. Then, of course, I messed up on the Shindal Disciple, which is like the worst thing. So let me send them over here to collect belief. And now we're at 190 belief out of, and we need 200. Oh, this is the snake that I invite to join my sect because they have really good crafting. So as long as they're staying for longer than, I guess, two days will be good. Okay, and they are just staying for three days. All right, so it seems like I have all of my disciples going to a location where they definitely can get the law. Wait, what? You couldn't get a seven slaughtering sword? Why not? Oh, come on, metal cultivator. Oh, probably their con. I mean, not their con. Their con is mass. Their perception. All right, so they need seven perception and they need four luck. Ooh, I missed out on that. I never knew seven. Oh, seven star of story is the other way around. So maybe if I had like a heaven saying law equator, and that would work out. Let's see what's. What's this guy at? They have high precision, high con, and then they have four luck. I guess it would be worth it just to make this guy at any cultivator just so that I can get that. 
that's why they're excellent though so I would really need to give them a good talisman for that I have two departing shadow talisman so I can give them one alright so I'll make this guy a temporary cultivator just because I'll probably need to use them to unlock heaven's in law anyways so you know why not and then I'll just rebirth them when I do get heaven's in law so this is just perfect timing Alright, no one else let me down, please. Okay. So we're just going to promote you to whatever you want to be. I guess we can do Sunflower Refining Law, who cares? And then look for a Spirit Contract. Turn Spirit Fly off. Then give them Departing Shadow Talisman. And then I need to send them to Esalen Isle. Oh, definitely do not be on practice. Ah, uh, still one day, but it's okay. We have way more than one day to work with this guy. We're in bad mood. Whatever, you should be good. All right, so let's have Metal Cultivator scout out everything. Hmm. Great Desert is covered. Excellent Owl is covered. I just have two mandates at Mount Hundred Insects. And then this guy's going to Mount Kunla. So I'll send you to Mount Hundred Insects. So I should be getting at least two new laws. Okay, so this is Mount Kunla, my right artifact law, okay. I I really believe that one of my guys can get that. All right, let's go back. Myriad. Okay, this one is perception, luck, and intelligence. So my turtle can get this one as well. Wait, what? My rare artifact law and jade purity are, are like the same thing. Let me see. I really should just be on a law page. I kind of like seeing the UI though. Yeah, these guys are the same thing. All right, so I guess <laughs> I can send my turtle to Mount Kunlun to get my artifact. So it's looking like I'm going to have like most of the loss. Okay, collect belief for sure. And then can this guy get anything? No, sadly not. But I did send you on an adventure. Yeah, go do that. Oh, well, Fire Code Raider One is taking forever to go to Great Desert. I don't know why. Yay, we got a law. And then we're about to have Heaven's Day Law. I probably should have kept Metal Cultivator back so they can transcribe the law since it's very time sensitive. Alright, so they're placing the Eureka pill down. Now I can send them out to get my red artifact law, which is going to take a pretty long time. Why are these builders not building super fast? Like, you have such high building. And then this guy's getting motion severing law, but they're taking their sweetest time ever. Oh, wow, I'm already getting visitors. Okay, from Wu Dang Sect. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't even have like half of these buildings built. Oh, they just plop themselves in this room though, okay. Whatever. Finally, emotion severing law. Alright. Medical Evader 1 is almost on their way back. Alright, let's focus on the main guy. The main guy is the Shindao guy. So Shindai guy, he now has 100,000 beliefs, so now I can build this Hall of Devotion. And as you can see, it provides the Persuasion Miracle, which can be used to persuade an ally or neutral and a disciple character to convert them into a core follower. So I'm just going to add this Hall of Devotion so that I have this. And now that I have this, I can start to look for core followers and all that good stuff. Now I obviously need to do that in this video. So I'll just send Fire Cultivator 2 to Mount 100 instead of just to figure out 
what the final mandate is. This is the first one, Jade Purity Law. This is the one that Primordial Symbols Law guy can get. Are you sleeping? You should be on a venture. I don't want to waste too much time, so I'm going to actually. I should not want Kanban Mount Coppertoon since that's where I would need to go to find core followers for them. So, yeah. Oh, we got an aggressive bear. Good thing Fire Cultivator 1 is about to come back. This could go really bad. Actually, Hajan should have this. Even if it turns into like a demon beast. Oh, nice, it didn't. Ooh, lucky. Alright, we're on day 44. Okay, so Medical Vader 1 is back. So now it's time to use an Amber Fruit from our trusty favorite sect, Evanfall Abode. Let's trace some Demon Beast High. Here. So I get Metal Cultivator 1 at Amber Fruit, and then I want to just transcribe Emotion Severing Law, and that's because I want to get Empathy Chant right here, which will increase their social level. So then once they increase their social level, they will have their social increase to 20 out of 20 so then that's going to reduce their adventure breakthrough time by 60 percent which will bring it down from like 12 days to like i don't even know because the base breakthrough time is four days so if i bring it down 60 percent then i guess it'll go from 12 to 10 days so yeah they have the amber fruit and they need to transcribe this manual let's try that again Apparently I didn't try it the first time. Oh, and I just canceled it. Wow, I am fumbling. Okay, let's let's end this video. Okay. Let's end it well. Nice. So we were able to get seven starting sword. Alright, so now they're transcribing this. And let's see. This guy is almost at Mount Kulan. But in the meantime, let me have Shindal 1 go and start to invite these core followers since this is the main guy. I don't want to get lost in the sauce, focusing in on all this other stuff. So I'm going to use the mortal method for recruiting my core followers. I'm really just looking for mortals that have 90% predestiny with my Shindal Disciple. So I'm just going to talk to all of these mortals. And then if any of them have 90% predestiny, I'm going to invite them. And then if they don't, then I'm going to kill them. 62% or not 90% I think they need like uh, I forget I can get a plus 22% bonus so you need 80 79% predestiny okay Wei Gong 26% 48% and 20% Alright, so none of these guys have the predestiny that I needed them to have, so I'm just gonna kill these. <coughs> I'm gonna kill them so that I can refresh their bodies and get new NPCs. I know it's not an enemy and I do not care. Alright, so now they are corpses. And I have to wait for the courses to decay. Alright, let's put you on kill mode. Alright, so now that that's done, I need to wait three end game days for this to refresh. Then I'll come back and try to do this again. La 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 la. Alright, so one day is down. And we just have two more days to go. 11. This is so slow. 
Okay, this guy Mel C. They're from Mel Hundred and it says I don't really care about this set. I don't really care about favorite with them, but Purple Cloud, those are my friends. Let me also pick up this item. Oh, I already did that. Okay. I guess the only thing left for me to get is iron ore. Yeah, I'll get this. You would never have too many minerals. All right, that was a good pastime. I was like dying looking at that. Okay, now that their bodies disappeared, when I come back, it should be new NPCs. So hopefully, the new guys have better predestiny. Okay, our spirit root. Got some good stuff going on there. In terms of our visitors, we're good. Oh, we're day 44 and we have 210 influence. So now it's actually time to send this abbot out to be an abbot. They have pretty low charisma, so I need to give them a heaven sent talisman. So let's do that. Then I know that I want to do, let's see, I have these marked down. So I want to do central plain because it can make three brownstone and it can make wheat. And then the uh, riverbank plains, we already have that, and then city of abundance. So I think I'll just do central plain just because it's further away. And I already have the departing shadow talisman. So if I'm going to use the departing shadow, I probably should use it on the one that's further. Let's see, do I have any like lower tier spiritual traveling talismans? Oh, I do. This one gives 100% bonus. I kind of don't want to use that, so I'll just use this fake one. Alright. So where are we at? We got the Heaven Sin, Departing Shadow, Spiritual Traveling. They're at 7.4 Charisma right now. And if I give them a bracelet, they should be at an okay amount of Charisma. 7.58, I'll take it. Alright, let's assign this to... Oh, that's the wrong the wrong place. Oh, that was scary. I'm surprised I was even able to press escape on that. The good thing is that I did go to Mount Copperton recently, so it wouldn't have been a big drawback, but it would have been annoying. So, this is going to be, what, shrine? If this is A shrine, then this is B shrine. B for brownstone. And we don't want to give you anything. That's interesting. You can that uh, you can just press escape on that. I'm happy about that. And I'm just waiting for Primal Assembly's Law guy to come back. Oh, we have a cat that wants to join our sect. This isn't the same cat that I got from that I invited from Mount Hunter Incense, is it? No, it's not. This is perfect because now my sect size is about to reduce. But I only have a little bit of days. Wow, luckily I sent them that. I gave them that talisman, but I'm just thinking. Hmm. Yeah, this guy has good crafting, good medicine resistance. I would love to accept you right now. This guy has great farming. Yeah, I'm really struggling with my sex size right now. But I definitely don't want to have 2k rep right now just because it's just too much for me to handle. I couldn't do it. I have 24 beast blood. Why not do beast sacrifice? That's why we're not having the chaos for. Ooh, spirit crystal. Ooh, spirit do. Ooh, spirit crystal. Okay, I'm done. Alright, so this guy's going as an abbot. Shendal Cotevere needs to actually go out to Mount Copper Tomb. I'm really just waiting for this guy to finish their Mount Kunlun thing and for, for, for Cultivator 2 to figure out what the second thing is. Oh, this is 7 Slaughtering Sword. Nice. Okay, so that's not going to work out for them. 
So let me actually write this down since I'll be playing. I'll be going to sleep after this. So seven cent law bear go to nine hundred insects. The second one, and then I think that the first one was J Puri. So. For J Purity, the first one. All right, I took down those notes. Then I think I got all of the mandates, honestly, because this guy is about to get the Mount Kulon one. What are my builders doing? These things have been ready for so long. Especially Pu Jen. What are you doing? Why are you eating? Oh no, not irritation. Yeah, we got a Eureka pill. Yeah, this guy is almost done transcribing the law. Alright, so I think I'm going to end this video here. We're 45 minutes in. I really wanted to be 35 minutes, but this is I think that this is a better uh, ending than when I was thinking about it. So yeah, I was able to get 100,000 belief on my Shandao Disciple, and now my Shandao Disciple can now uh, promote Disciples to be their core followers, and I'm in the process of recruiting uh, for my Shandao Disciple and also just unlocking all the all laws by doing mandates kind of got a little bit carried away with that and a little bit very focused on the Shandao side of things but I think I'm on a good track to hopefully have a Demigod Disciple whether it be the Heaven Seal Law Bear or the Metal Cultivator I'm hoping that I can have it by day 80 but I don't really think that it's likely just based on the trajectory that I'm going and the fact that this guy has a really long adventure breakthrough and there's some sour pill will have run out by the time that is done so I don't know but yeah worst case scenario we'll just use a tier 11 artifact or one of the artifacts that we can steal from Mount Sunshade or we'll just steal the Nimbus artifact which is also really good from Golden Peak so we still have a lot of good options for the artifact and we're just getting a good amount of Eureka pills and unlocking pretty much all of the laws except for I don't even know which one I'm, we're missing. We have all right, Artifact, Jade Purity. Per, um, oh, we're missing Heavenstone Law. I think that's the main one that we're missing. And we have Emotion Severing Law. And then we're missing Primordial Alchemy Law. So yeah, just unlucky with getting Heavenstone Law, I guess. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching or at least learned something. And I'll see you in the next video. Later.